Hi guys, I'm Elvin from Neuron Digital. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the admin page of the wallpaper app template. I'm going to be walking you through how to upload all the files to your server, how to set up the server, how to configure the wallpaper app template, and ultimately how to use the admin page to upload wallpapers for your users to see on the app. So let's go ahead and get started to open up the wallpaper template file, open up the server side code since we're only going to be using this first and we need to open up the configuration file to modify the database details so open it up, I'm going to open it up in brackets. This config.ini file contains all the configurations of your admin page so we have your database details here, you can make the admin page act as a demo from here. You can change the title from here, you can change the debug levels, make sure to change it to zero for production. You can change the thumbnail size and quality. If you have less server space, you can set the system so that it will replace previous reports made by the same user so that the user can stay sending you the same reports over and over. In here, you need to put in your Firebase API key for notifications to work. And also this last part is made for sharing mainly for the mini, mini web app. So you have to put your server URL here and your Twitter hashtag if you have one in here. Let's go ahead and create an SQL database on our server. So I have created a new SQL database and put all the preferences of the connection in here. I'm going to save this file now and I'm going to head to the SQL database and open it to import the SQL file. Make sure to select a database, click on import and choose your SQL file. Click on go. You should receive no errors when importing. If you receive an error, it might be because of your MySQL version or perhaps because of the PHP MyAdmin version. While we are still in the process of editing the config.in file and we haven't uploaded it to our server yet, we should change the Firebase API key to, to have it ready. So go to your Firebase console, create a new project. Click on this gear icon here, project settings, go on cloud messaging, and we need to copy the server key and paste it in here. We can close the config.in file and we can upload all the files to the server. I have created a new subdomain and pointed it to this subfolder here. So now all I have to do is open up the server side code with the config.in file modified and just select all the fo files and folders. Make sure to select the HTA access file here because it might not show on some computers because it is usually hidden on some computers and just drag and drop everything to your server. This software here is FileZilla. If you want to download it, it's basically an FTP client to upload stuff to your server. Okay, all the files have been copied. We can now open up the admin page on, on our new subdomain. So open a new tab and, and we have received this error, which basically means that, that our database credentials are not correct. So let's go back and check them once again. And as the error suggested, I had my database username not correct. So let me correct it, save this file again and re-upload it to the server. I can now go back to the admin page and refresh. The default credentials are admin at gmail.com and pass, P-A-S-S. And the admin page is finally working as it should. You have your dashboard here, you will see your wallpapers from here you can upload any wallpapers or use the bulk feature if you want to upload multiple wallpapers at a single time and you can add your categories from here. When adding a category, please note that the category can either be a parent or it can be a subcategory. So if you want your category to be a parent, which means that it will be a parent for other categories, not wallpapers, make sure to turn this on. For example, if I go to the demo and go to categories, in here I have a single parent, which is the sky category. As you can see, it's turned on and the night sky and the day sky are 
have the parent set as sky. So if you go to the sky here, for example, their parent category is sky. And please note that this sky now, since it's a parent, it can't hold wallpapers in it. It can only hold categories. Hope that makes sense. Let's go back to customizing the admin side of the template. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you the structure of the server side code and which files you might want to edit. So we have our configuration.in file that you should have already modified. In the controllers folder, you have the main functions of the server side code. You have your CSS here, which you might want to edit. And in here, in the JavaScript file, you have some text that you might want to translate. For example, the these menus here and this one can be translated from the script.js file here. Something that you also might want to modify is the views folder. In here you have all the HTML code. The main things that you need to modify are the privacy policy.htm and the terms.htm. So if you open these in brackets once again, you can see that you have the HTML code for your privacy policy. So make sure to modify that to have a good privacy policy. If you want to see which URLs are accessible on your server, go to the roots.in file. And this file lists all the public and the admin page URLs. So if you're extending on this template, you might want to use these API calls here to get the data you need. That's all guys from this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and see you on the next tutorial.